Welcome back to the War Group of Well, and in today's video, we're going to be doing some example Skaven lists. If you've seen some of my other videos in this format, you will know that these lists are designed to be a jumping off point for people trying to get into the army and something that they can build off of to modify to their heart's content, including units they like and not including units they don't like. So without further ado, let's get started. For our first list, we have Lightning and Guns, Master Clan plus Scryer, a basic build. I built this list in mind for a new player to have the easiest time collecting it as possible and minimizing the number of separate kit purchases you will need to make to get this. So for you to buy this army, you will need two Skaven Vanguard boxes, one Grace here on Screaming Bell, one Warlock Engineer, and the Endless Spells for Skaven. This list has two Graceers and a Gracier on Screaming Bell. I've given the Screaming Bell the Skaven Brew, so you can get extra attacks out of your clan rats. And then we have the War Warlock Engineer being the General, so we can get Stormfiend Battleline. He has Masterful Scavenger and more and more warp power. For Battleline, we have a unit of 20 clan rats with blades, a unit of 40 clan rats with blades, and a unit of 6 storm fiends. The weapon choices for the storm fiends are up to your personal preference. Additionally, if you wanted to, you could separate the storm fiends into two units of three if you want. Additionally, we have two warp lightning cannons and the warp lightning vortex endless spell. Some pros for this list are that it's very easy to collect. You have some good shooting and backline with your lightning cannons and storm fiends, and you have some good bodies for holding the line and objectives. Some cons are besides the Skaven Brew, you don't have too much support for the clan rats, and you're going to be relying on good rolls from the warp lightning cannons and good performance from the storm fiends. This is nothing new as Skaven is very swingy and they require a lot of good dice rolls to really perform well. For a power rating, I would give this a 7 out of 10, and for a price point, you're looking at 442 US dollars, 271 pounds, or 354 euros. For our second list, we have Carpet of Rats, Master Clan plus Pestilence list. I built this list in mind with wondering how many rats can I fit into a decent list, as well as focusing on making it very hoardy and having some flavor for Pestilence. For leaders, we have a Claw Lord, a Gracier, a Plague Priest, he's the general, and he has the Master of Rotten Ruin and the Rabid Rabid spell. And then we have a Plague Priest on Plague Furnace with Curse, and then a Vermin Lord Warp Seer. For Badline, we have three units of 20 Clan Rats and a unit of 15 Plague Sensor Bearers. And then for other, we have two units of 20 Plague Monks. This is all about your infantry. You have a lot of support for it from the Plague Priest on both of them, honestly. And because you have the Vermin Lord Warpseer and the Gracier, you get the three heroes master clan ability where you can uh, save run rolls and charge rolls to use throughout your turn for your first one that you roll, as well as the pile in sharing ability. Honestly, this is a really fun looking list and I would love to hear some thoughts on it. Um, I personally don't think I would ever want to play this list just because that's a lot of rats to paint and to move. But if you enjoy horde armies, maybe consider this list. Some pros for this list is you have a lot of rats and so you will be able to contest objectives very well. And if your opponent just can't chew through the number of models that you have, it'll be difficult for them to maneuver or contest objectives. You also have a potential for a lot of damage from the Plague Months and Sensor Bearers, and you have really good all around hero support. Some cons, there's a lot of rats in here that you're gonna have to paint and move. So if that's not something you want to think about, maybe look at something a little bit less hoardy. Uh, additionally, this army list is very squishy. You don't really have a, a hard line that you can soak damage with besides just bodies. For a power rating, I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. And for a price point, you are looking at 576 US dollars, 355 British pounds, 
or 460 euros. For our last list, we have a Monsters and Madness Molder list. This list I designed for just being exclusive molder, as it's not very common, at least in my area, most people run Scryer. Um, so I wanted to see what you could do with an exclusive molder army. For the heroes, we have Master Molder with Foul Hide and Molder Supreme, and then two more Master Molders for the three hero Molder buff. Then we have four Hell Pit Abominations with various of the mutations from the uh, Clan Molder abilities. Uh, I've picked out some that I thought were really good or the ones that I would want to include, but these are really up to you. For Battleline, we have a unit of 16 giant rats and then two units of rat ogres. And then for Other, we have a unit of 12 giant rats and a unit of rat ogres. Some pros of this army is you have a lot of really scary monsters and you have a potential to bring back some units after they are destroyed either with the too horrible to die rule or with the command ability on master molders to potentially bring back a unit essentially from board edge. Some cons are that you don't have too many bodies for Skaven and you have a low amount of heroes. Skaven really likes having a lot of heroes and you have no prayer or magic. So if you're up against a very heavy magic army, you won't have any defense against it. For power rating, I would give this an oh dear god, why does it have so many heads out of 10? And for a price point, you're looking at 524 US dollars, 326 British pounds, or 433.5 euros. Before we end the video, I'd like to give thanks to our Patreon supporters. An extra special thanks to Nick Hoff. If you would like to join the Patreon, there's a link in the description below. We also have a Discord channel, so if you want to come and join the community over there, there will be a link in the description as well. And that was three example Skaven lists. Skaven have a lot of different choices from their War Scrolls, so there's a lot of room for variety. These are just some that I hope that you can take and modify or build to fit what you want from your Skaven. Their unique clan subfaction mechanic really lets you go ham on customizing your Skaven to be exactly what you want. These are just some jumping off points that I enjoyed making. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment, and if you want to see more of this type of content in the future, consider subscribing. This has been the War Group of Woe, and I'll talk to you guys next time.